Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install the Rima PSV plugin. So basically what this plugin does is lets you remap all of the buttons on your PlayStation Vita while you're playing games. So let's say uh, maybe you want to replace um, square and circle, um, you could change those to around, or maybe like X and circle. Maybe a button isn't working, so you want to change it to one that is. Basically, this small plugin will actually let you do that. So it is pretty cool. It does have some uses. Obviously, it's not for everyone, but um, some people will find it useful. So if you guys want to get this, this plugin actually recently came out on auto plugin so if you have auto plugin you can go ahead and start this up if you don't i have a video for it on my channel just go and start this up if there are any updates just let it update and then just wait until you're on the home screen so on the auto plugin home screen what we're going to do is we're going to go up to plugins for ps vita and just press x to open up this one then we're going to go onto install plugins and press x now we're just looking for the rima plugin so we're just going to scroll down it's somewhere on this list right here. I think you just have to scroll down a bit. And here it is, it's under R, Rima PSV. And um, it actually says what it does down here. So as you can see, you can remap every single button on your PS Vita. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and install this. I'm going to install this on my URO. So you can change that using left or right. And once you've selected the correct one, you can just press X on it. It should take a second to install. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna press start. It's then gonna say your PS Vita where we start. Press X for OK. And just wait for it. Once your PS Vita has restarted, what we need to do from here is just go ahead and run your custom firmware. Or if you have Enso, that is fine. But I'm just going to go ahead and launch up my HN Core custom firmware real quick. Now once that is done, what we have to do is choose a game. So I'm going to be using Adventure Time. I'm pretty sure it should work on this game. So just find a game on your home screen and then just go ahead and start that up. Now once you're in a game, what you actually have to do is press start and square at the same time. So it's a bit awkward, but you just press it like that. And then as you can see, the menu will open like this. So it has thanks to all of the developers at the top. Um, I don't want to say their names and ruin them, but you can read them if you want to. And as you can see, these are all of the settings. So we've got cross circle. And what you do to change stuff is you select something. So let's say cross and you change it using the D-pad and you can change it to pretty much anything you want. You can even change it to touch screen and rear touch screen. You can literally edit every single control on the PS Vita. Now, if you edit some and you want to exit, you can scroll down to close and just press X on that and then it should be working what I'm actually going to do is change square as you can see on this adventure time game um, square happens to be um, kind of like the hit so I'm going to switch square and X the other way around so let's press start and square to enter in the menu so I need to go to square and I'm going to change this to the cross so I'm just going to scroll through and find it you will actually find eventually so there you go cross and then cross I'm going to change that to square just some you know swapping them around and then we can just scroll all the way down and we can go to close the config menu press X on this one and then if we just press start to get out the menu as you can see press square nothing happens press X and we get our attack so that is pretty much it that's how you change the controls really really simple program really cool if you have a PS Vita with a faulty button and you want to swap it around in a game or um, just cool in general if you don't like the controls set up maybe you'd rather have X as fight on this game and you can get it working obviously you can put it back really easily start square we've got our menu again we can put cross uh, back to cross just like that and we can put square uh, back to square just like that and we can scroll all the way down again and then go to close config menu start and square should be our attack so yeah that is pretty much it for this video i think this is really cool if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one